All right, hello again from the war room section of my man cave. And we have been down here enjoying my time off. Oh, what are you talking about a culture shock going from trying to get six hours of sleep into being off work? That's what I live for because I haven't been having me some late night gaming sessions. Sleeping on in, that's what it's all about. I don't take a vacation during my time off, I call it a sleepcation. But we are feeling good, body's feeling great. Oh, that's all I needed was some time off. But anyway, we are down here with continuing with our strategy and tactics uh, folio magazine series. Uh, I've been broadcasting some of these issues that I got with my latest subscription. Uh, but like I said earlier, the old strategy and tactics magazine goes back 30 years. I think I had a subscription that was maybe 20 years back, but uh, and I had I was a general subscriber too. But uh, in this issue, unlike the past three or four, um, we're getting tactical, and we're going to one of my favorite time periods, and that is Pike and Shot, and specifically the 30 Years War battles of Luther and Whitstock. I've been watching uh, a lot of YouTube videos on this. Uh, I think one of the channels I watch to get all my information is Gods and Generals, and they do a great, they do a great job. I'll be sitting here reading the articles uh, by strategy and tactics and following along, you know, with the video playing in the background, and just going along with both uh, text and video, just just to get a good outlook on what's what's going on, what happened. Uh, like I said, here we're getting uh, tactical. Uh, and we are, uh, you can see the nice little units they got down there. Uh, combat strength's the first number, movement's the second. And uh, in this game you have leaders, you have cavalry, infantry, and artillery. Now historically, uh, the artillery I think was, uh, he deployed them back here on these hills. But uh, they, they got a range where they can shoot unlimited all across the whole map but once they say you get past six hexes you only get a hit on maybe a six on die roll to where if you get within two or three hexes you get a disruption or uh, a good result on a roll, roll of one through five or so, something like that so you, um, the effectiveness really increases at the shorter range so you can see here now I do have a marker here I was going to try to remind myself to put a unit there, but I do see now it's covered by that, that bridge is covered by that uh, cannon, that artillery, so that's why they put a unit there. All the rest of them get uh, significant combat modifiers by being behind that, in this game anyway, swollen river. It supposedly was rain swollen. The die there, the dice there, are just uh, limits on the game. It tells you you have to deploy your units somewhere between here between this spot and this spot then I go down to uh, this spot here you have to stay behind the river so that's what they're doing now another thing is you'll notice that my units I can extend them all the way up this way I have plenty of units to do it but one of the requirements criteria of this game is this uh, Danish leader Christian for the uh, Protestants you have to stay within six hexes of him I think that's just an deployment though. So, uh, like I said, I got my artillery out here because they're a lot more effective at a closer range and uh, where I can't get the uh, river bonus and I had to pull back because of my proximity to my leader. I've got me a, you can't see him here, but underneath this leader, and I might move these leaders around. This is just a preliminary deployment. I have an artillery unit there. So, unlike historically, where he placed his artillery back here. I'm gonna use mine right up front, do the damage right away, and also, I've got my weaker infantry as my first line of defense to uh, just weaken the forces. And my big boys, my big combat factors in the rear line. Just ready to chew up any, anybody that breaks through. And of course, the obligatory cavalry's on my uh, wings, and a light cavalry gets a bonus there in the woods, so I got him down there. Hold on a second for the cough button. Alrighty then.
Well, like I said, this is just preliminary. A little quick look. Uh, historically, the, uh, what is it called? Oh, Holy Roman Empire. The Catholics kicked ass and took names. The Protestants didn't do too good. As a matter of fact, after this battle, I think that was the end of Denmark's <laughs> uh, inclusion in the war. And they were pretty well backed on up. Poor Denmark. Every time I see them in history, they're getting their butts kicked. <laughs> Make a lot of themselves, but <laughs> I hope any Danish people are watching. Uh, come on, I'll take you on in a game. But anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Ooh, bu -bu 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 -bu. So, I was talking historically. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can turn the tables. It's always good to be a defender, but I think they were outnumbered. So, uh, we'll see what happens. They got the Holy Roman Empire, the Catholics coming on down. Didn't like their Protestant ways. Didn't like the fact that ordinary people could read the Bible. So, <laughs> I have to say I'm probably on the Protestant side about that. Old Martin Luther. But, uh, um, what else? Uh, after Denmark got out, I think this other bed over there, Woodstock, and they got the two maps on here. It's kind of cool because it's tactical. Just a bigger map looks like, well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe this is smaller because it's got one of their tables there. But here's a battle number one. They give you two battles in this and battle number two. So uh, there we are, uh, waiting for the Holy Roman Empire. And like I said, after this battle with these guys, I think in Woodstock it's more Swedes. Where the Sweden, Swedes come more into prominence from what I'm gathering from my uh, historical video and reading. There's also some units up here that comes in as uh, reinforcements, but there's certain criteria on that too. So that is it. I'm down here just farting around, reading on some rules and uh, initial deployments, getting ready for the battle. This will be fun. We will be back for some more. Oh, 30 years war battles.